What's going on, people? Moto Steve coming to you live from LaSalle, Ontario. I just passed out of Windsor. I'm in LaSalle. How you guys doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Hope you're by your computer either editing your videos or check it out, Moto Steve. And you saw it in the recommended. And you said, hey, what's Moto Steve doing today? Well, I'm out on the Buell, better known as Red Head Stepchild Kelly. It's the CR 1125 Cafe Racer made by Eric Buell. And I'm out just having another fantastic day on the bike. Hope you are too. I hope you uh, went for your ride or you're going for your ride. And you're like, man, life is good. Life is good. Any day above ground is a good day. Things might be crappy, you know, and things might not be the best, but hey, we're here, we're trying, we're doing our best. I mean, everyone in North America is feeling it. Let's face it, our governments suck right now. They suck, they need to be replaced. They have not done a good job in the last, ours, the last eight years. This guy is just an absolute kook. He's made more money, you know, inside trading. I don't care, whatever. Like, tell me how someone makes $371,000 a year, which is crazy. And they had $10 million, and then two years later, they have a net worth of $385 million. Am I lying? Am I lying? No, I'm not, because it's uh, basically the truth. So, this guy has done it all to make himself rich and stupid people have voted him in I mean the first time that he was voted in he was going to make pot illegal in Canada and everyone's like that's the guy we need here and he did and then he just taxed the crap out of us but anyways enough with politics I am just having a blast cruising out on the bike and enjoying it I don't get out enough and you know it's already you know mid-July who knows when I'm gonna post this video but and we don't get super super long time to be on our bikes in Canada because we do get the colder temperatures and we do get snow so gotta ride when you can people gotta ride when you can I mean holy smokes if I won the lottery I would be six months in a place that they get no snow during the winter time and I would just ride like a trooper but unfortunately that's not the life I haven't won the lottery yet so hoping I'm always playing you if you don't play you can't win right so I'm always throwing a couple bucks just that one chance oh that's cool he's fishing with a kayak kind of cool had a nice little setup there but yeah if you don't try you can't win and I'm dry dream so got to give yourself something you know when the, the lottery gets super super crazy and the goes up to like 80 million dollars you're like oh my god I would have the biggest garage and I'd have the coolest collection of cars and, and motorcycles why not why not you're only here once have fun you know i have a little brother and uh he went through a, a divorce and it was crappy and everything and they sold the house and he made some money on the house but he uh he's renting now but the dude is doing what he wants and he's got that little bit of money and you know what his dream car was getting a 1977 el camino the year was he was born and he went and did it he found a 77 el camino it needed work he bought it and he fixed it up and my little brother is having a bass he just bought a trailer and he put it up at a campsite beautiful place up in northern ontario and he's just doing it he's just doing it because he knows that he's only here once and he can't take it with him hell I, I've done it when things were really really